Hold on, folks, cause what I'm about to tell you will leave your jaw on the floor. The San Francisco 49ers have found their man, but he's not who you think. This young QB has shattered records, defied every expectation, and silenced his doubters with an MVP caliber season. You think you know who I'm talking about? Think again. This story is just getting started, and trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next. Listen, listen, listen. I don't care who you are, I don't care what team you support, but if you're not paying attention to Brock Purdy, you need to wake UP. We are talking about a quarterback who came into the league as the last pick in the NFL draft. Do you understand the magnitude of that? The last pick. Mr. Irrelevant, they called him. But now. Now, he's anything but irrelevant. This man didn't just make the team. No, no, he became the San Francisco 49ers starting quarterback. And folks, this is no fluke, this is not a one-hit wonder. This kid is out here proving week after week that he is the real deal. We gotta start with the facts. Brock Purdy has the highest passer rating in NFL history through a player's first 25 games. That's right, he's sitting at 112.6. Let me break that down for you, that's higher than Patrick Mahomes. That's higher than Kurt Warner. We're talking about legends here, and Purdy is right there at the top. And before you even try to downplay that stat, just understand that every time Purdy steps on that field, he's doing things that people said he couldn't do. But hey, let's not just rely on the numbers, let's talk about the moments. Let's talk about the games where Purdy showed up when it mattered the most. Look, the 49ers season was on the brink when Trey Lance went down with that injury. People thought it was over. And when Jimmy Garoppolo got hurt too. Oh, please. Everybody thought the Niners were done. But then comes this young man, Brock Purdy, and what does he do? He steps into that QB1 role like it was made for him. He didn't just play the position, he owned it. He went out there against the Miami Dolphins, and then against Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and dominated. Dominated. Nick Bosa even said it himself, when Jimmy G went down, the team thought the season was over. And yet Purdy kept proving Bosa, the team, the entire world wrong. And you know what? Bosa was right about one thing, the 49ers did get lucky with Brock Purdy. But you know what else? You make your own luck in this league, and Purdy has earned every ounce of respect he's getting. Now, I don't want to hear anybody try to take away from what this man has accomplished. His 19-6 as a starting quarterback. 19-6. and six. Let that sink in. Since the merger in 1970, no other quarterback has had a start this good. Not Mahomes. Not Brady. Not anyone. And you know what? The 49ers are averaging almost 30 points a game with Purdy under center. That's right, 29.6 points per game. That's just ridiculous. This team is out here putting up points like they're playing Madden on rookie mode, and Brock Purdy is the one pulling the strings. Kyle Shanahan? He'll tell you the same thing. On 49ers game plan with Greg Pupper, Shanahan was clear. This team saw something in Purdy from the moment he stepped in against Miami. And let me tell you something, not every rookie QB can handle that kind of pressure. Most rookies crumble under blitz packages like the ones Miami threw at Purdy. But this young man, he stood tall. He delivered. Shanahan said it himself, Purdy had to go through everything in that first year. Coming off the bench, playing with cracked ribs just days later, winning a playoff game. I mean, are you kidding me? This kid has been through a war zone and come out the other side still slinging darts. But here's the part that really sets Purdy apart from the rest. He doesn't just win, he wins big. This is a quarterback who has faced injuries, who's faced doubts, who's faced top-tier defenses, and every time, he finds a way to come out on top. And don't you dare forget, this man took the 49ers to the Super Bowl. And oh yeah, he had a four-pick game, but did he crumble? Did he fold? No. He bounced right back the next week, playing like a man possessed. That's the definition of resilience. That's the kind of quarterback you build a franchise around. Now, I know some of you all out there are gonna say, well, the 49ers red zone offense has struggled this year. And you're not wrong. But hold on, let's put some context behind that, alright? Christian McCaffrey's been banged up, and that's a huge loss. But even without one of the best running backs in the game, Purdy and this offense are still moving the ball at a high level. They're getting the yards, 
they're putting themselves in scoring positions, they just need to clean up a few things. And when they do, oh, it's gonna be lights out for the rest of the league. You hear me? Lights out. And make no mistake, Brock Purdy is the engine that makes this team go. He's the guy everyone doubted. The guy nobody thought could lead a team like the 49ers. But here he is, proving all the doubters wrong time and time again. The scary part? He's only getting better. This offense has the potential to be one of the best in the league. And if Brock Purdy keeps playing the way he's been playing, you better believe the San Francisco 49ers are gonna be right there, contending for a Super Bowl once again. Now let me tell you something else. I don't want to hear a peep about, oh, well, he's not Mahomes, he's not Brady. Stop it right now. Because what Brock Purdy has been able to do in this amount of time is nothing short of extraordinary. Yeah, Mahomes is special, we know that, Brady is the GOAT, no debate there. But listen, Purdy is carving out his own legacy, and he's doing it with surgical precision. Just look at what he did in 2023, leading the league in nearly every major quarterback stat you can think of. Passer rating? Check. QBR? Check. Yards per attempt? Check. Net yards gained per pass attempt? You bet. And the cherry on top? This man was fourth in MVP voting. Fourth. And don't forget he was also in the conversation for Offensive Player of the Year. This is not some fluke, people, this is greatness in the making. And listen, we can talk all day about the stats, we can go back and forth about the numbers. But let me make this very clear, it's not just the numbers that make Brock Purdy special. It's his composure, his leadership, and his ability to elevate everyone around him. The moment he stepped into that locker room as QB1, the entire 49ers squad believed in him. This is a franchise that's had its share of ups and downs at the quarterback position, but with Purdy, there's a sense of calm, a sense of confidence. When you've got a guy under center who doesn't flinch under pressure, who doesn't get rattled by the moment, that's when you know you've got something special. Let's not act like Purdy hasn't faced adversity either. Coming into 2024, this man was dealing with the aftermath of a brutal injury. We're talking about a torn UCL, people. For most players, that's a career-altering injury. But Brock Purdy? Nah, he wasn't gonna let that stop him. He came back stronger. He came back better. And you can see it in his play. He's more decisive, he's more efficient, and his command of the offense is on another level. Purdy has faced every possible obstacle you could throw at a young quarterback, and every single time, he's risen to the occasion. And you wanna know what else is scary? He's doing this without the full arsenal of weapons he had in 2022 and 2023. George Kittle has been banged up, Debo Samuel hasn't been at 100%, and like I said earlier, McCaffrey has missed time. But does that slow down Brock Purdy? Not even a little bit. He just keeps on making plays, spreading the ball around, and making sure this 49ers offense stays dangerous. That's what elite quarterbacks do, they find a way to win, no matter the circumstances. Now, we all know the red zone struggles have been an issue early in the season. I'm not here to sugarcoat it, it's been frustrating to watch. But let's keep it real, every great team has areas they need to improve. And when you're missing a guy like McCaffrey, it's gonna show. But here's the thing, Purdy has still put this team in positions to score. He's still moved the ball up and down the field with precision. And I guarantee you, once they get McCaffrey back, once they get the timing right in the red zone, this offense is gonna be unstoppable. Mark my words. But it all comes back to Brock Purdy. He's the heart and soul of this offense. He's the guy who steps up when it matters most. And let me tell you something, you can't teach that. That's something you either have or you don't. And Purdy, he's got it in spades. The 49ers know they have their guy. Kyle Shanahan knows it. The players know it. And now, the entire NFL knows it. You can't doubt this man any longer. So, what are we talking about here? We're talking about a quarterback who has proven himself at every turn. We're talking about a guy who has taken the 49ers to the brink of a championship and is poised to do it again. We're talking about one of the best young quarterbacks in the game today, period. No debate. And if you're still questioning whether Brock Purdy is the real deal, then you haven't been paying attention. This team is going places with Purdy under center. And the rest of the league? 
They better take notice because Brock Purdy and the San Francisco 49ers are coming. And when they come, they're coming for it all. I don't know what else there is to say. This young man has already cemented himself as one of the best in the business, and he's only getting started. Buckle up, folks, because the Brock Purdy show is just getting started.